Hello there everyone and welcome to my let's play of the Warcraft mod for Brave New World. I'm gonna be playing as Tarande Whisperwind of Night Elves. She gains quite a nice little bonus, plus she's religious. So I believe I'll play her. Um, I'm playing on a... Hmm... Maybe a Fractal, because it's completely random and I'm gonna be playing on a standard map. On the fourth difficult because it's normal. I go Emperor, but I don't feel like thinking too much, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, the reason why I chose this mod, and I'm gonna quickly edit something here. Um, but first, I'm gonna have to give them all specific civilization. I don't want civilizations to be re repeating themselves. Um, Stormwind and the Trolls. Right, so these are all the civilizations from the mod, as you can see: Vol'jin, Varian, Rain, Tyrion, uh, the Lich King, Lord Maul, Lord Tamar, Tyrion, Garrosh, Shellscream, Cairn, Bloodhoof, and me, Tyrion the Whisperhead. Um, all of them are gonna be in different teams. Um, I'm gonna click on random personalities. I'm gonna make ten city states. We'll make everything random and standard, I guess. I'm gonna uh, probably start a game now. Um, the reason why I chose this mod is because it is completely random and completely new. I haven't played it a lot, I've checked it out if it's working correctly. Um, it, it basically reskins everything and like changes a lot of stats. For example, the World Wonders. And if you want, you can read this. Ishnu Allah, High Priestess, Thread the Whispering. I actually really don't want to read this. It will take too long. Anyways, so we have the Sentinel, which will look, require horses. Sentinels are mountain range units who excel at interception and harassment. Yes, I'm going to be harassing a lot, I guess. Though I believe I'm going to be a religious um, faction because, well, I get a bonus religion belief. A religious belief. It's like the... Um, I forgot about the Byzantium. Byzantium. Byzantine Empire. Um, and also you get the moon well. Uh, the moon well generates extra culture on the tile which is it is built. So this game also added a lot of new buildables. I mean tile improvements. For example, I guess it's the moon well. And also reskinned a lot of stuff. Now these are gems. These are dies. Um, there will be a lot of random. New, well, I can't say new, but different, um, different, um, like, luxuries, for example, a black lotus, like, the herb, um, the herb, uh, from World of Warcraft. I'm gonna go for pottery, because I want to go for theology, like, crush theology and stuff, I, I don't really want to go for, well, warring, I don't really want to be a warring kingdom. Uh, though I do want a, a Iron Forge library, as you can see. Instead of the... Which, I, I forgot the name of the World Wonder. Basically, they changed a lot of Wonder, for example, the Rage Fire Chasm. And they have really nice icons as well. These horses, for example, don't really look that well made, but, I mean, they're pretty nice. And, for example, we have the Magister's Terrace. I remember it gave plus 10 food. It was the Hanging Gardens. But and now they give plus 6 food only. And also it increases population of all your cities by 1. And increases your civilization happiness by 3 for your entire empire. empire. Uh, this, fairly, this is a fairly expensive wonder. Uh, and it's helpful to any civilization. But especially to none. Yeah. Yeah, basically it's a really well to an expansionist. I'm not going to be an expansionist. Um, I'm going to be a religious person I guess. Um, I'm gonna go for the scout. Now I also noticed that when I played with the trolls I only required five um, five culture to gain my next policy. By the way policies haven't changed at all um, sadly but I'm guessing this is still a work in progress mod. Um, it's again really well made. Uh, I'm, I was really astonished by it. Usually I see maps and Cheap reskins, and this one looks pretty good. Might be some faulty things here, but 
so far everything looks pretty solid. Bananas, more gems, dyes, they are even um, renamed, oh here we go, the dead mines. <laughs> City state called the dead mines, yeah that's pretty awesome. Yeah for example there's a little, little space here which shouldn't be honestly. Um, let's see, I'm the best at population, population um, literacy. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of gems actually. I'm gonna get my scout next door and I'm gonna see what's the south of me. Here I see some barbarians. Let's construct a monument. We got some cows, some stones, some more gems. I'm getting a lot of gems and actually I should start taking what um, policies should I take. Advanced view, um, adopting Petalons to build shrines, yeah that's actually quite ideal for me. Um, increased gold, see the majority of illusion also grant uh, you found illusion gain a bonus reformation belief. No, I'm gonna get that either way so I don't really need that aesthetics. No, rationalism, I'm not really sure. I should go for commerce and maybe um, tradition. Yeah, I'm gonna go for commerce and tradition. That's the main ones I usually go in. I've discovered a ruin and you found the geyser fields. Not really sure if it's something that World of Warcraft has or is it a. Oh, look at that! I found the Lich King. Frost monsters at your arrival, mortal. That's pretty nice. A really nice little icon here. Pre pretty good artwork, I guess. Um, though this is just a simple wallpaper, I believe. World of Warcraft has a lot of wallpapers. Also, um, Night Elf Warrior. I really don't think that these guys are Night Elves. I don't think these guys are undead, but... Yeah, a lot of icons were changed in Maudi Mr. Ruin. Sucks for them. Thou shalt not muzzle oh, and I've discovered Animal Huntsbury. That's that's pretty good, I guess. Um, a really nice, an ideal um, ruin discovery. It's pretty good. And I also got pottery this turn, so um, it'll be quite easier for me to go for civil service. I'm gonna go for writing instantly. Because I really want the Iron Forge library, and while it's being built, I'm gonna go for the uh, calendar. Because, well, I kinda need to work on my dice. I'm also gonna have to go for. Oh, look at that! Copper. Copper is also a luxury. <laughs> I believe copper was in the original game. I just discovered a map. Artifacts, stone, some more cattle, some more horses. I believe artifacts are. Marble sites, I guess. Not really sure. Look at that, they have sugarcane. Uh, it's obviously instead of sugar. Um, though I believe World of Warcraft also had sugar, so I'm not sure why they didn't just name it sugar. Uh, they have copper and they have stone. You can see the ice crown citadel. Looks pretty nice. And there's a barbarian village encampment here. Don't really want to go for, the, till, for that. Um, my good girl, and here we go, Wellington. About 30 gold. I'm playing with seven other factions, and I only met one. Uh, I'm playing on a standard map, so I'm not really sure. Look at that. That's a little icon. I'm not really sure why aren't, aren't I meeting anymore, because usually when I play, I just get spammed with freaking civilizations all around me. There's literally nothing I can do. more copper. This place looks pretty good, honestly. <clears throat> I might settle a city right here next to the Barbarian encampment or at the coast. Because this is this is a fractal. Though I should pre first make sure that this isn't a massive lake. I kind of want to settle near the ocean. But yeah, let's get, get the shrine going. And I forgot to move with my worker, uh, with my warriors. I may adopt the policy, that's awesome. Now, adopting this would actually cut the shrines. Ah, oh, whatever, I'm gonna go for tradition. I need growth as well. Oh god, I'm not too sure. 
Not sure if my scouts will make it. And someone already found a pawn down, and their Nazis can fire upon what? Instead, you discovered Vashir. Holy shit, Vashir! If anyone doesn't know, Vashir is a underwater zone that was added in the Cataclysm expansion. Ruins explored. All right, got some archers. Now, I believe I can take out. Um, Encampment, though I should explore a bit more first. They already have some workers, I guess. Probably should make workers myself, though I um, don't really need it at the moment because I can see these guys are stalking me, me here. And I'm also gonna go for the Great Library because um, one turn left. Okay, let's see if I can move. I'm going to shoot them. Quite nice damage, honestly. Okay, I'm going to getting some uh, fate. A good book, kills reason itself. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Eight more fate. Holy shit. My icon is the same as Persia's, only uh, purple. Well, it's still a good reskin, I guess. Good mod. Aristocracy, I'm gonna need that for my great library. Let's go for the calendar. I guess I'm gonna get philosophy as my free time. Holy shit, 27 turns. Okay, and I'm not getting any gold. So I'm not really sure how, my, how am I gonna get my worker. And there's a ruin here, what the hell. I'm gonna get the ruin with these guys and I'm gonna try to kill these barbarians. I could capture their worker. People who like shiny things the most. Yeah, fine. Fuck you, I don't have all the gold. I do really want to buy um, buy a worker. Though the problem is I don't have any money. And I found pretty much every city state that I could find. And I probably could find more if I look above me. Oh shit, 19 turns.